Hello everyone, hope you're doing right. Today we're talking about the Advanced Prototype PowerTech, also known as AP. It's a spec that's very straightforward. It's a lot of fun, but if you don't know what you're doing, it's easy to mess it up. So let's talk about it. Big scrim as usual, I'm not next on the spec. If you have anything that I don't cover or you have any insights that other people could benefit from, feel free to leave them down in the comments. I'm sure your fellow players would appreciate it. For your stats, accuracy, 110% PVE, pretty much every time. For PVP, you can kind of dump most of your accuracy. You don't really need it. For your alacrity, 7.2% alacrity, you should be ready to rock and roll and then throw everything else into crit and then we'll do a whole bunch of damage. For our tacticals, there are three that you need. The first is single target sadness, which is just overwhelming offense. This is a pretty boring tactical for us. There's not really a, a default tactical for AP. So we just take overwhelming offense. You just do more damage. It's kind of sad. For AOE situations though, a flame detonation is very, very fun. You throw your detonator on the target, hit a flame sweep, and then it blows up everything in the area. If you're doing like heroics or questing or flashpoints or operations, you can totally take flame detonation. It's a lot of fun. For PVPers, you're gonna wanna make sure you have a life warden. We don't have a lot of healing for ourselves. So if you're in like ranked PVP, you're gonna wanna spend life warden probably one of the rounds to make sure that you get that massive heal off because you die pretty quickly as AP. You don't have a lot of sustain, so making sure you have that life warning in your bag is kind of important. For your legendaries, Mandalorian Armaments is going to make your shoulder cannons just do more cannons for free after you are done using them. It's just free damage. We don't really have to think about it. It's pretty nice. Additionally, we have our Shock Trooper Package. Shock Trooper Package is going to make your Flaming Frist and Rocket Punch heat reduced by 4%, or 4 so... We just use Rocket Punch, Flame Fish for the other spec. So Rocket Punch costs less, and then every time you use a Mag Blast or a Heat Blast, you will increase your damage by 10% for 15 seconds. It can happen once every 30 seconds. It's just free damage, and it makes your heat management easier. It's very, very useful. So those are our legendaries and our tacticals. Looking at our combat styles really quick. Juggler is great for single target damage. We love to see it. It's just free damage, which is pretty nice. If you want to, you can go with um, Retracted Refresh, which is going to make your Retractable Blade essentially do AoE damage. So if you're, you know, AoE farming, you can totally take Refractory Refresh, but default's gonna be the Jugular. Jet Charge, very important. It's our leap. We don't, you know, we're, we're a melee spec. Like we have a pistol, but AP is a melee spec. So having that little charge is very, very nice. I take Power Burst here. Power Burst is just going to increase the damage of our Thermal Detonators very passively. It's very nice. Excuse me. Advanced Yield is going to give us a little bit of extra range on some of our abilities, which is very nice. Additionally, it's going to help us get our Power Yields back faster, which, you know, uh, it beats Poke in the Eyes by one of these other options offered. In PvP, I take Pyro Shield for the fluff. That's really just it. In PvP, Gyroscopic Alignment Jets will solve most of your heat issues. AP has a lot of issues with people spamming abilities too much and then botching their heat. So gyroscopic alignment jets will absolutely help out there. We're, we're going to run to a lot of good choices here in the top row. Personally, I take Hitman in PvE. It's going to reduce the area effect damage by 30%, which is very, very nice. In PvP, you can take suppressive tools for the movement speed slow, which is, you know, slows are kind of obnoxious in the game right now. Or you can take Reflective Armor for the extra fluff damage. So if you want to fluff, Reflective. If you want to live in PvE, Hitman. And then if you want to be obnoxious in PvP, Suppressive Tools. Moving up the line here, Hydraulic Overrides is kind of the default. Movement speed is very, very underrated. Having the ability to chase down targets and move quickly between mechanics is very, very nice. In PvP, you can take Electro Dart, but I think Hydraulics is more useful. And then PvE, there are some situations where you just don't move a whole lot. So you can totally take Shield Cannon and get that little bit of 21% healing back. It's not great. It's not fantastic. But if you have no use for your Hydros or your Electro Dart, you can totally use Shield Cannon and just get that little bit of extra healing for us. Finally, Sonic Rebounder is pretty much the default in PvE. A lot of times your raid team will call for it. So they say, hey, there's an ability coming out. Use a Rebounder. It'll help preserve your team's life. It's very nice. But in PvP, I like to take Efficient Suit. It's um, it's an easy way to have a little extra CC break. And it's just going to give us a little bit of extra range on our shoulder cannon and our grapple. You can also take Enhanced Paralysis if you really want to. If you're going to be that really obnoxious guy spamming your uh, Carbonize it's kind of up to you, but I personally default to Sonic Rebounder in our content. But that's all boring stuff. Let's talk about how we're actually going to do all of our damage. 
There are only a couple of interactions we actually have to worry about here in AP. Its abilities are pretty much focused around these six abilities right here. Let's talk about some of them. Actually, we're going to talk about one that's not on this list first, and that is Retractable Blade. Retractable Blade is a damage over time ability. You hit the target once, it does like, you know, 10k damage, and then it will slowly tick for like 20,000 damage in the course of the next 18 seconds. So you can see here, it's still taking damage, still taking damage, still taking damage. But we only have to use it once per fight because every time we use our rail shot, it's going to refresh the duration of our retractable blade. So every time we use our rail shot and or shatter slug, we don't really use shatter slug that much. Um, every time we use our rail shot, the duration of retractable blade will be refreshed. So essentially, if you're sticking on one target throughout the entire fight, you never have to use retractable blade outside of the first time you use it. It's very, very nice. You can see here, even without you know lowering the cooldown of rail, sh rail shot, you can just keep retractable blade on the target all the time by just spamming rail shot 24-7. Now you're gonna notice here as I'm using rail shot, not only are we uh, refreshing the duration of our retractable blade, we're slowly building these four stacks of energy load. Every time you use a rail shot, you're going to build these little red guys called energy loads. Once you hit four energy loads, you will have the ability to use an energy burst. Energy burst is the monster damage ability that we have here in AP. It unleashes as many stacks of energy load as you have on the target uh, and does a whole bunch of damage. The idea is we wanna save up till we have all four energy loads and then unleash them all in one monstrous energy burst. So you can see here, once it's gonna start glowing when we have four of these energy loads, boop, we hit the target and then blah, 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 blah. That does a whole bunch of damage very, very quickly. So let's, Refresh really quick to make sure we're on the same page. Retractable blade, hit it up, or hit the target with it. It does dot damage over time. It's pretty nice. Rail shot reduces or refreshes the duration of the dot. Rail shot also builds our stacks of energy loads, so that way we can have massive, massive damage. One brief little interaction here I didn't mention. Uh, if you use rail shot in a bleeding target, it actually vents some heat, which is a great way for it to help us manage some of that heat management. Manage some of the heat management. Wow. Good English, Mark. So obviously the idea now is we want to be building as many rail shots as possible, right? We want to be refreshing that, that retractable blade. We want to be building these stacks of energy load as fast as possible to get those massive energy bursts out there. But as you can see right now, the cooldown of a rail shot is like 14 seconds long. Uh, that's kind of sad. It takes a long time for us to naturally build up four stacks of energy load and then unleash it with a massive energy burst. I don't want to wait that long. Well, fortunately, there are two abilities in the game that will actually reset the cooldown of our rail shots. So if you see here, I've used my rail shot now. We have two abilities here called Rocket Punch and Mag Blast. If you use a Rocket Punch or a Mag Blast, boop, the cooldown of rail shot will be reset. So you can see here, I can hit rail shot again. Great, fantastic. I can use a mag shot and then I can use rail shot again. Boop, great. It's an easy way to be procking more and more of these rail shots to make sure that we're doing oogles and boogles of damage. For one, for two, it has a very satisfying ping sound, which is very nice. Uh, and then for three, making sure that we're building those energy loads as quickly as possible. So two ways to refresh the cooldown of rail shot. That is our rocket punch, boop and then we can use a rail shot, and then our mag blast. I'm gonna give it one more second to tick. Oh, one more, one more. And then rail shot is available again. Now you're gonna see here that it's not like you can be spamming these over and over again and just proccing rail shots 24 seven. There's actually a small cooldown that goes on between when you can reset your rail shots. It takes four abilities to reset our rail shots. So what that means is that if you can count to four, you can play AP. All right, so here's how it's gonna go. For the first three abilities, one, two, three, we will be just using a basic priority system. And then on four, we want to be hitting either Rocket Punch or Mag Blast. That's gonna make sure that we are refreshing our rail shot as fast as possible to build up to our massive energy bursts. Additionally, it's going to be helping us manage our heat because it's going to be venting five heat every time you use our rail shot. It's just free ways, or it's the most efficient way to build those rail shots and get those energy loads out and then get rocking and rolling. So for the first three abilities, we're gonna be filling. And then on our fourth ability, fourth ability, we'll be using either Rocket Punch or Mag Blast. Those are the rules. 
Now, what are our filler abilities? Well, we've already covered a couple of them, but let's break them down in order. The first is going to be Thermal Detonator. This is the most important filler ability that we have. It does a whole bunch of damage, and it also makes the target susceptible, so that way it takes even more damage. When you throw a Thermal Detonator onto the target, you can see it's going to come here, it's going to wait to explode, and then eventually it's going to, boop, explode, do a whole bunch of damage, and then leave the target will susceptible to extra damage for the next 45 seconds. It's very, very nice. It does a whole lot of damage, and that damage is increased because of the ways that we use our energy bursts and our utilities here. So because we're taking the power burst utility, when we use energy bursts, our thermal detonator damage will be increased by 20%. One second, Duke is barking. Sorry about that. Uh, so thermal detonator, we don't actually want to wait for the four stack proc to happen. Uh, you just want to be spamming it whenever it comes off a cooldown because it's a whole bunch of damage. So if you're in either one, two, or three and thermal detonator is off a of cooldown, hit thermal detonator because it does a boatload of damage. The next frail bit we're going to be using is Rocket Punch. Rocket Punch deals like 30,000 damage to the target. It's pretty nice. Additionally, it causes the target to be sundered, which is going to decrease the armor rating and make you do more damage. It's very, very nice. Additionally, it just doesn't cost a whole lot of heat, which is great for us. So it is our second most important filler ability. The third most important filler ability is going to be our energy burst. If you have four stacks of energy load and you have a energy burst ready to rock and roll, then you should use your energy burst as the third most important ability. I know that sounds kind of backwards, but what we're doing is that energy burst doesn't have a cooldown. And so it's more efficient for us to be using these abilities and put them back on cooldown and then use our energy burst because unless you're going to be building a rail shot uh, energy load in front of it, it doesn't really matter when you use your energy burst as long as you're getting off before you're spending a rail shot. Okay? So, most important, thermal. Second most important, rocket. Third, energy burst. Fourth is actually our rail shot. So, you know, we're going to be building energy load with the rail shot. Um, use it. That's all I have to say. And now we enter into some funkiness in our priority system here. If you are above 25 to 30 heat, you should be using rapid shots. AP is heat demanding. If you let it, it will botch your entire heat because if you spam too many of your mag blasts and your other abilities in a row, you will run out of heat very, very quickly. You'll want to be safe. It is better to be safe than sorry with a spec like this because say, for example, if you go through, you're gonna be spending all of your heat, sending all of your heat. How heat works in AP is that the worse your heat gets, the slower it regenerates. So what we want to be doing is we want to be keeping it as low as possible. Otherwise, you can see here, if we run into this situation where we throw all our heat away, this is not regenerating as fast as it was before. The more heat you build, the worse it gets. So we want to be proactively managing this by making sure that anytime your heat is above like 20 to 30%, you're just using rapid shots as your filler. For those of you who don't know how to get this text on here, if you go into your interface editor and then click on your prayer frame, there's gonna be this little thing that says show information text, toggle that on, and then you can actually see without guessing what your heat is currently at. If this heat gets above 25% or 30%, use rapid shots. Until you get more comfortable with the spec and then you kind of know the tools that you have at your disposal. Until that point, use rapid shots. You'll thank me in the long run because the last thing you want to be doing is sitting there when the boss is at like 40% health and you're at 90% heat with no way to fix it. That's not a good time. Finally, our filler ability is going to be our Mag Blast. We haven't really talked about Mag Blast yet. What it's going to do is it's going to increase her damage by 10% for the next 15 seconds. Um, you know, free damage, we love to see it. Additionally, it just does a oogles and boogles of damage. It does like 20k da or 20k damage. It's pretty nice. It's a great little filler ability. It has no cooldown, so you can spam it as much as possible. This is the ability that destroys people's uh, heat in this game. So if you are spamming Mag Blast over and over and over again, you will destroy your heat. So uh, it is both your best friend and your worst enemy because it will either make you do a whole bunch of damage if you manage it properly, or if you botch your heat because of it, it's going to be your worst enemy. Let's recap very, very quickly to make sure that we're all on the same page. Retractable blade, on the target. Does dot damage over time. Great, love to see it. Rail shot, awesome ability. Builds energy loads. Refreshes the duration of retractable blade. Love to see it. Rocket punch and mag blast. 
reduce the, the cooldown of rail shot. Love to see it, all right? We wanna be using mag shots and rocket punch every four abilities to make sure that we are maximizing the uptime of our rail shot. Once you hit four energy loads, you can use an energy burst, do a whole bunch of damage. This energy burst will give you four stacks of power surge, which is going to increase the damage of our thermal date in order by 20%. Love to see it. That's really all there is. Priority system now coming down, thermal detonator, rocket punch, energy burst, real shot, rapid shots if you're over 25% heat, and then mag blast, and that's really all there is to it. There are a couple of other damaging abilities here. For example, shoulder cannon. Shoulder cannon, it will automatically load three cannons at once and then build four more over time for a total of seven cannons. Um, these can be used when you're spamming other abilities as well. So if you notice, like all these other abilities have this thing called a global cooldown where it's not like I can be spamming all my other abilities at the same time. Uh, shoulder cannons actually don't share the global cooldown. So I can be using, for example, mag blast and shoulder cannons all at once. If I just spam over and over and over again, both of these abilities, I can be firing both my shoulder cannons and my mag blast over and over and over again. It's just free damage. It doesn't cost any heat. Love to see it. If you're taking the shoulder cannon heal utility, it will also give you some healing. So let's demonstrate how this is going to look when you're actually, you know, in combat and doing things. So if we apply our retractable blade to the target, now we're going to count from the beginning. So say we're going to refresh our rocket punch cooldown first. So now one, two, three, and four refresh retractable blade. And one, two, three, four refresh retractable blade. One, two, three, four refresh retractable, or uh, I'm sorry, I said retractable blade, refresh rail shot. For one, two, and three, we literally just fill with these abilities. And then on four, you hit rocket punch or mag blast. And that's kind of all there is to it. Like, I, I wish that there was more that I could be telling you, but there's really not. Like, this is, this is very, very straightforward. Follow this priority system for one, two, and three, and then on four, hit either mag blast or rocket punch. That's it. That, that's, that's literally it. The only way to get better at this is to sit down and do it. So I would recommend that you practice. Let, let's practice very quickly to make sure that we're all on the same page. So let's spend all of our stuff really quickly to make sure that we're ready to rock and roll. All right. Refresh track or uh, rail shot and one, two, three, and four. Refresh one, two, three, fourth refresh. One, lower heat two, three, fourth refresh. One, two, three, fourth refresh. One, two, three. Fourth refresh, one, two, three, fourth refresh, etc., etc., etc. The beautiful thing about a priority system is that if you mess it up, that's okay. Like, just do better next time. You're not gonna like destroy your rotation if you're not min maxing your ability to use this priority system. That's fine. Just do better next time. It's literally that straightforward. Like no one's, you're not gonna completely botch all of your damage if you use a rocket punch when you have a thermal detonator available, right? Like you're just not, it's fine. Like you're gonna, your DPS is gonna be like slightly lower, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, but not that much lower. So follow this very basic priority system for one, two, and three. Fourth, use either rocket punch or magnet blast, and then you should be ready to rock and roll. There are a couple of other offensive cooldowns here that we'll talk about very quickly. The first is explosive fuel. Explosive fuel is going to increase your range and tech critical hit chance by 25% for 15 seconds. Uh, it's going to make you do a whole bunch of crit damage all the time. It's very, very nice. Hit the button. You're doing all crit damage all the time, baby. Love to see it. Love to see it. Love to see it. So all these abilities are going to be critting. Well, not all of them, but a good chunk of them are because our crit chance will be increased to like critical chance, like 60%. So instead of just having that like 40% crit chance, uh, you get boogles of damage because you're gonna have monstrous crit chance with explosive fuel. Additionally, our power yield does a couple of things. For one, if you use it the first time, it's going to give you, you know, a flat 40% extra armor, but then every time you're attacked after that, you will build up to five stacks of power yield. 
So for every stack, you get 40% extra armor and it increases your damage by 2%. So that can stack up to 10% extra damage and like 200% extra armor. So very, very nice. But the really good thing for us is that every time you hit power yield, it will instantly grant you four stacks of energy load. So for example, if, if we're sitting here and we, we're gonna spend our energy load stacks really quickly, oh, we spent our energy load. If you hit power yield again, you can instantly build four stacks of energy load again. So that means we can do oohs and boos and damage back to back. It's great, it's great. We love it, we love it, we love it. Those are our offensive cooldowns. For defensive cooldowns, uh, we have our energy shield, which is going to increase our damage reduction by 25% for 15, 15 seconds. Uh, it's okay, it's not great, not terrible. And then we have our culto overload, which is going to rapidly heal us up to 35% of our health. It's, uh, it's, it'll save your life, but it won't prevent your death. So it's a great little ability, but we don't really have a lot of good tools here in Pyrotech to really keep ourselves alive. We're kind of a glass cannon. We do a whole bunch of damage and then we disappear. We also have taunts. So Sonic Missile in uh, AP will give you 30% extra damage reduction. So a lot of people actually don't know this. If you use Sonic Missile, you'll get your Sonic Defense, which is going to increase your defense uh, ba -ba 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 uh, I'm sorry, it'll increase your defense chance by 30%. So you have the chance to dodge ability or damage. It's not going to reduce your damage. It'll increase your chance to dodge abilities by 30%. So, you know, if you want to roll the dice and hope you dodge some abilities, great. You can use your Sonic Missile. Additionally, we have our Neural Dart. If you are in PvE, you should probably never touch this ability. If you're in PvP, you should touch this ability all the time. Like your life depends on it. It'll reduce the damage done to other players and give you a whole bunch of medals. Finally, we have our Carbonize here. Carbonize will uh, stun all enemies in the area for two and a half seconds. So if you have all eight air enemies around you and you use a Carbonize, it'll stun them all for a fair bit of time. It's a great little ability with only a 30, or a, sorry, a 40 second cooldown. So it does a whole bunch of damage. It's pretty straightforward. Like this, this spec is dummy easy. Follow this priority system for one, two, and three. On four, rocket punch and mag blast, and you should be ready to rock and roll. One thing to note here is that when you get up to like the high 70s, anytime you use a regen, so like your push ups or your recharge and reload, it'll build up to four stacks of energy load again. So then you'll be ready to rock and roll every time you get into the fight. There is like a 35 button global or rotation that you can use for the opener. You don't really have to memorize it. Um, the, the gist of it is you wanna throw your detonator first and then gut, and then we wanna apply all of our debuffs by using our rocket punch and then mag blast. And then you can get into like your energy or your energy burst, power yield, spending all of your buffs, power, power yield again, energy burst, and then just like spamming as many uh, rail shots as possible. I'll post the picture for the 35 button opening rotation if you want it. Uh, you don't have to memorize it if you don't want to. It's purely to like parse. Y you don't you don't really have to know it. Like it's fine. It's totally fine. Uh, let me just botch my heat real quick. If you do end up botching your heat, you have one get out of jail free card with vent heat. What vent heat does is it makes your next ability cost no heat and then will vent 50 heat for three seconds afterwards. So if you mess up your heat the first time, you have you get one you get one chance to set it right. Uh, and that would be with your vent heat ability. If you mess up after that, you, you just just play more carefully afterwards, right? So, you know, be a little more generous with your rapid shots. Don't be greedy with your mag blast because mag blast will be the ability that kills you here. If you do not use your mag blast properly, you will destroy your heat and then you will be sad. Don't be sad. Use your rapid shots appropriately and you should be ready to rock and roll. Just follow this for three, for three buttons and then Rocket Punch Mad Blast on four, and you should be good to go. I literally just count out one, two, three, four when I'm playing this spec to make sure I don't lose my place because I'm a dummy and I can't count to four. But my music teacher would be very sad. Four, four time was never my friend. That's kind of it. Uh, if you have any questions about AP, feel free to leave them down in the comments below. But honestly, just sit at a dummy, throw stuff on the target, and then you should be ready to rock and roll. You can build this little tree if you want to, if it helps you out. If not, okay, that's fine. You do you. If anything I missed, you know, let me know. But uh, that's all I got. If you have any questions, you know, subscribe and ask me, I guess. Or like the video, or share it with your friends. Or don't. I'm not your mom. You should call her, though. She misses you.